Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Satanists do not want you to talk about demonic Beyonce. Satanists do not want you to talk about demonic Beyonce. And what bring me to this point is that uh, I was responding to a young girl, the one that talked about uh, One Nation um, about to rape her young sister. Now, she explained that her sister lied to her parents and wouldn't meet these men. Now, we all know we are not supposed to do this. This is not good. You're not supposed to go meet no Satanists, okay, or Santana men, men in the world. She said, well, she's naive. Of course, she's naive. If she's not being taught the way she should be taught, okay? Now, I was trying to respond to the late young lady about if you're going to make a pretension about one nation, you might as well make a, a pretension of, of your favorite idols as well because they all do molestation. They all in child trafficking and child um, sexual rituals, magic rituals, okay? Which all the Satanists do do, okay? Anybody in that Kahoot celebrity world game as well as politician game and false prophets game, they are all in the cahoot doing sex magic rituals with children and other thing, other things too. Okay, it ain't just with children, it's with animals too. Y'all know about bestiality and all that. Okay, they do it with each other. They do it with homosexuality. You know, they are defiled in nature and very disgusting and unclean. Okay, so I was responding to her about that and saying that, that Beyonce, you might as well, if you idolizing Beyonce, you might as well say she's one too, or it one too, because, you know, somebody, somebody say it's a transgender, you know how they do transgender in that business, but you might as well say Beyonce is one too, you might as well do pretension to all of them, okay, don't be picking on y'all favorite idols, uh, pick, um, picking um, that your favorite idols that, uh, that they not in it, because they are in it, okay, a lot of them don't want to talk about their favorite idols, Okay, and they idols are just as much as satanic as the rest of them. Okay, now when I responded to her about that, every time I responded, my comment got deleted again. You guys, you see how satanists are talking about their favorite favorite demonic idols. Now you can tell Beyonce is high in that ranking Illuminati game because they don't want you to talk about Beyonce. They want you to uplift Beyonce. You understand? Oh, don't you talk bad about Beyonce. She's not demonic. <laughs> okay, we're going to laugh some more. <laughs> okay, now, I want y'all to look at the first article by Lipstick Alley. I'm going to talk about these uh witches on Lipstick Alley. Yeah, you witches. Y'all love to uplift Beyonce with y'all witch selves. Okay? Y'all some bunch of witches on that computer screen of lifting y'all other witch, y'all high witch, okay? Now, let's look at, the, look at the title, okay? I love that Beyonce has been giving shine to the African gods. Let's read that one more time. This woman loved the fact that Beyonce is giving shine to the African gods. Now, we all know African gods are deities. They are demonic. Now, watch, watch, watch what I read right next, next thing they, they comment. Beyonce is trying to expose y'all to your roots, the Oshan. Oshan. <laughs> now, your roots ain't demonic, okay? You're supposed to be for the Lord Jesus Christ, okay? Your roots are supposed to be for the Lord Jesus Christ, the, the God that created you. Okay, so these 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 women on Lips of Galilee are kind of foolish. They foolish. Okay, let's continue. Beyonce is trying to expose y'all to your roots, O'Shawn. Stop calling everything that doesn't look like the Jesus. That's blasphemous. That was forced on our ancestors. Demonic. Okay, it is demonic to worship other idol gods. They are demons. You worship in demons. Okay, you only ignorant till I not understand that. Okay, and the demonic Oshan, the African goddess of beauty, love, prosperity, order, and fertility. They worship in Jezebel, pretty much a voodoo goddess, Jezebelic. 
Anybody in their right mind should not worship that. Okay? So it's a bunch of fools on Lipstick Alley. The next comment on that says, um, she looks so beautiful. Last last night, nothing demonic about her performance lies much. Okay? Now, Beyonce is into African voodoo. And we all know I had touched on voodoo. How is Santana when they do dance rituals to their gods, their African deities, the demonic gods? Okay. These fools say it's not demonic. How delusional can you be? How delusional when they dancing like snakes and they dancing right in your face? Well, I'm gonna show you that link about black is king. That's what she that's what Beyonce said. Black is king. Jesus Christ is the king now. Okay, not black is king. Jesus Christ is the king. You're going to see black is king and how it got all that voodoo stuff in it. But you're going to sit there and lie and say it's not demonic. Hmm, how ignorant. We all know that Jesus Christ is the king. You foolish, wicked witches on Lipstick Alley. <laughs> and I'm just going to put it out there. You foolish. Wicked witches on Lipstick Alley. Y'all are foolish. And y'all are demonic yourselves. That's why you're following a demonic witch. Okay? Now, my comment got erased several times off here. Talking about Beyonce. Because these Satanists are uplifting that thing. I'm going to say it like it is. Them Satanists are uplifting that thing. Which is demonic. Okay? Now, I'm going to read the next article. Now, I talk about how Beyonce is into sex magical rituals with children and everything else. It's like everybody else in their business. Nobody want to talk about it because that's their favorite idol. No, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about all your favorite idols because all your favorite idols are in it. Okay? All y'all favorite idols are Santana. Y'all don't want to admit that. Let's admit it. Beyonce former drummer claims singer molested her with dark magic extreme witchcraft. Hmm. That's what the articles say. And do you know what these news reporters said? These satanic news reporters? Trying to make it seem like the drummer was crazy. Trying to make it seem like the drummer was crazy. No, they the ones crazy. Being delusional. Lying. Lying on the TV screen. Saying that Beyonce... Uh, saying that the drummer was the cra was the crazy one. No, uh-uh. Y'all the liars, news reporters. Y'all know y'all be lying for those big uppers. Y'all know it. Okay? Now, let's get it correct. Y'all are hired to lie for the big time satanic cahoot. Right, news reporters? Let's continue. Now, the Be Beyonce former demonic... Um, no, Beyonce former drummer claimed singer was molested her with demonic dark magic, extreme witchcraft. Now, we all should know that Beyonce is high ranking in that voodoo, as you can see on Lipstick Alley. They don't want you to admit that Beyonce is demonic. Please, let's admit the truth. It is demonic to worship other idol gods, which are demons, before the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's just say it like it is. Let's just say it like it is, you satanic devils that don't want to talk about Beyonce. <laughs> we're going to talk about it today <laughs> i'll be wanting to talk about people on this screen so badly because a lot of people don't want to talk about their favorite idols and their favorite idols are satanic misleading these children astray yeah i'm done with, i'm talking about the people that are wicked mm -hmm. now let's go to exodus 32 okay now, I read Exodus a long time ago. Uh, Exodus 32. Okay. Let's see. Okay. It right. I'm going to see where the part where they were uh, dancing at. See, they were dancing to this golden calf um, that Aaron made. Let's see where they were dancing. Okay. I'm going to read the first part here. Okay. And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said to him, him, up make us gods which shall go before us. For as this 
Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what has become of him. And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons, and of your daughters, and bring them unto me. And all the people break off the golden earrings which were in the ears, and brought them unto Aaron. And he received them at their hand, and fashioned it with a graven tool after he had made it a molten calf. And said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which lay brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Okay. And when Aaron... And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it, and Aaron made a proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. And they rose up on them tomorrow and offered burnt offering and brought plate peace offering. And the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go get thee down, for thy people which thou brought, brought us out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. See, they making other idol gods and praising to it before the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten calf and have worshipped it, and have sacrificed therein too, and said, These be the gods of Israel which have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. See, they went and lied too, knowing that Jesus Christ was the only one that brought them out of the land of Egypt. Let's continue. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen these people, and behold, it's stick necked people. Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may wax hot against them, that I may consume them, and I will make, I, I will make of thee a great nation. And Moses besought the Lord his God and said, Lord, why doeth thy wrath wax hot against thy people which thou hast brought forth out of the land of Egypt, which with great power and with a mighty hand? Because they are being wicked. They lying and being wicked against God and worshiping demons. Okay? So Moses didn't quite understand just yet till he saw what they were doing. Let's continue. Wherefore should the Egyptians speak and say for the mischief did he bring them out to slay them in the mountains and to consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from thy fierce wrath and repent of this evil against thy people. Remember, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, thy servants to whom thou swearest by thine own self, and says unto them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of the heaven, and all this land that I have spoken of will I have given unto your seed, and they shall inherit it forever. And the Lord repented of the evil which he had thought to do unto his people. Okay? And Moses turned and went down from the mount, and the two tables of the testimony we're in his hand. This is where Moses is going to get mad. Okay. He just got through telling the Lord to uh, repent for this evil. That he remember you have uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, thy servants to whom thou swearest. Right. But watch when Moses is going to turn and get mad. The tables were written on both their sides. On the one side and the on the other were they written. And the tables were the, the work of God. And the writing was the writing of God. Graven upon the tables. And when Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said unto Moses, There's a noise of war in the camp. And he said, It's not the voice of them that thou, that thou shout for mastery, neither is it the voice of them that cry for being overcome, but the noise of them that sing do I hear. And it came to pass as soon as he came nigh to the camp that he saw the calf and the dancing. And Moses angered waxed hot. See, now he got angry. <laughs> and he cast the tables out of his see, and he cast the tables out of his hand and break them beneath the mount. See, I ain't nothing but the Holy Spirit in him. Okay? And he took the calf which they had made and burned it in the and burned it in the fire and ground it to powder and strawed it upon the water and made the children of Israel drink of it. And Moses said unto Aaron, What did these people unto these unto thee that thou hast brought so great a sin upon them? And Aaron said, Let not the anger of my Lord wax hot thou knowest the people, and that they are set on mischief. For they said unto me, Make us gods, which shall go before us, for as this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, and we want not what is become of him. And I said unto them, Whosoever have any gold, let them break it off. So they gave it me, and I cast it to the fire. And there came out this calf. And, Mo and when Moses saw that the people were naked, for Aaron had made them naked unto their shame among their enemies. Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. Unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. And he said unto them, Thus said the Lord God of Israel, Put every man his sword by his side, go in and out from gate to gate throughout the camp, and slay every man his brother, and every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moses. Okay? Slay them, because they wicked. And there fell the people that are they about 3,000 men. Okay? But Moses had said, Consecrate yourselves today to the Lord, even every man upon his son. 
upon his brother, that he may bestow upon you a blessing this day. And it came to pass in the morrow that Moses said unto his people, Ye have sinned a great sin. And now I will go up unto the Lord, and free adventure I shall make an atonement for your sin. And Moses returned unto the Lord and said, Oh, this people have sinned a great sin, and have made them gods of gold. Yet now if thou wilt forgive their sin, and if not blot me, blot me, I pray thee out of the book which thou hast written. And the Lord said unto Moses, Whosoever has sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. Okay? So all them Satanists that come to my John Ramirez page telling me, Oh, it's not blasphemy because the Holy Spirit said you sold to the devil. Yes, it is. You are putting another God before God. You will be blotted out of the Lamb Book of Life. That is a no-no. Okay? Therefore, now go lead the people into the place of which I have spoken unto thee. Behold, my angels shall go before thee. Nevertheless, in the day when I visit, I will visit their sin upon them. And the Lord played the people because they had made calf which Aaron made. Bingo. Do not put other idol gods for the Lord Jesus Christ. You will be blotted out of the land book of life. That's how dangerous to worship other idol gods before his holy name. So foolish lipstick alley is saying, oh, anything that don't look like Jesus is not demonic. You foolish, ignorant fools. You wicked. You worshiping witches before him. You are worshiping satanic witches before the Lord Jesus Christ who created you. Yeah, I'm talking about you foolish lipstick alley chicks who are witches. Uh huh. Let's continue. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 10 20. Uh huh. Yeah, it's not demonic. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. You don't want to talk about your favorite idol. But let's talk about it. <laughs> let's talk about it because it's satanic. 1 Corinthians 10. 1 Corinthians 10, 20, 21. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I will not that ye shall have fellowship with devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of the devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the tables of the devils. Do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Or are we stronger than he? All things are lawful, for, but all things are not expended. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. Okay. Leviticus 26, 1. Leviticus 26, 1. Ye shall make no idols, nor graven images, neither will you upstand an image, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land to bow down to it. For I am the Lord your God. Okay? That's what God said. Let's go to Psalms 115. Let's go to Psalms 115. First... Uh, Verse 4, their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths. Let's see. It's 115 to 8, right? Okay, I'm going to read from the first verse. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy, for thy truth's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, where is now their God? But our God is in the heavens. He had done whatsoever he had pleased. Their gods are silver and gold in the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Nose have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak through their throat. They that make them are like unto them, so is everyone that trusts in them. O Israel, trust thou in the Lord, and he is their help and their shield. Okay. So, let's go to Daniel. Let's see. Should I go to Daniel? I'm going to just post the, uh, I'm going to post the uh, rest of the description box below about idol gods. What rest of the uh, scriptures about it, okay? But y'all going to see that, okay? But, uh, y'all can see that God don't want no other idol gods before his holy name, right? So, they don't want you to talk about Beyonce. Now, I told you, I read an article where a young boy did a sexual ritual, magic ritual with Beyonce. 
and a dark cloud came over him. Now get this. I've seen that dark cloud. That's the same dark cloud that I've seen where I had to call upon Jesus Christ's name and uh, rebuke Satan and say that I don't belong to Satan. And that God appeared in my bedroom to uh, with a light to cast out them dark clouds of demons. That's dark cloud of demons. That's a whole pile of legion trying to vex that boy. Okay? So that's what that is. I've seen that with my own two eyes. Okay? So... When they do sexual rituals, they are getting vexed with a whole pile of legion. Okay? And Beyonce is in that. So, people that don't want to admit that this Beyonce is demonic, it pretty much is. Okay? Worshiping African gods that's before the Lord Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ is the king. So, Satanists, I'm going to talk about you, Beyonce. Your Beyonce is demonic. Just like the rest of y'all. Okay? People... I always serve this word right here and no other God. Jesus Christ is God. 